All right, hello, Idiots on Parade, the Too Ugly for TV podcast. We mock the news so you don't have to. Hello, Jake. How's it going? That is Jake Vever, a stand-up comedian in New York City. I am Nathan Timmel, stand-up comedian in Iowa City. And with us is Brandon Wine, stand-up comedian in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hello, Brandon. How's it going, guys? Good. Thanks for being on the show, man. Yeah, pumped to be here. So here's the deal. Uh, I send news links to to Brandon and Jake, and then we discuss them, make fun of them. Well, I sent a bunch of links, and then the biggest news story of the week, month, possibly year happened. And, you know, it wasn't in the links I sent. So we're going to throw caution to the wind. We're going to jump in. We're going to talk about the the new Mad Max lost money at the box office. I was shocked as well. Bigger, bigger than that. Bigger than Mad Max. Jennifer Lopez canceled her entire tour. She said she needs to spend more time with her children and family. Now, the haters, the conspiracy theorist nuts, those tinfoil hat wearing fuckers, they will tell you using screenshots from Ticketmaster that she was playing 10,000 seat arenas and only a thousand tickets were sold in each one. But no, no. That's just a bullshit conspiracy theory. J-Lo is a hero. So what if the album flopped? So what if the the movie flopped? So what if her new Netflix film flopped? So what if everything flopped? The tour was a success, selling 1,000 tickets per 10,000-seat arena. She canceled to spend time with her family. This is this generation's 9-11. Brandon, where were you when you heard that Jennifer Lopez canceled her tour? Uh, I just heard right now. It, it makes me happy. I've seen all the videos on TikTok of people like showing that the, the arenas are just empty. Yeah, and it's hilarious because she kind of seems like not a very nice person. Uh, at least not somebody I'd want to spend time with. My thing is like spend time with her kids, spend time with her family. What has she been doing prior to the tour? I don't think she's come out with a song or anything. She made that movie. Making that, bad movies and bad yeah, that do- was fake rough. documentaries about her and Ben. Yeah, that I'll never understand Ben Affleck. Uh, Jennifer Gardner seems like a sweetheart. She's beautiful. And he he passed that up for for Lopez. I, I don't get it. Yeah, I, yeah, but she's she's still smoking hot. It it here's here's a little bit of trivia about J Lo. She's uh, she was born in 1969. She's 54 years old. Here's a little trivia about me. I was born in 83. Uh, I <laughs> dude, she looks like she could still play a high school student in a movie. And I 14 years her junior looked like I could co-star as her principal. So she's doing pretty good, man. <laughs> All right. Do we want to talk about that little bullshit story that I ignored? Uh, Trump indicted. Uh, idiots on the left are celebrating like it's going to make a difference. Idiots on the right are saying that it's all a scam. I, do we care? Um, I mean, I did. I yeah, not indicted, found guilty. He was indicted. Yeah. He was found guilty of his indictments. I even got that wrong. I mean, I I don't want to pretend I looked into it more than I more than I did. I'm not a lawyer, but it's it's. I don't know. It can, it concerns me like that. He would, I don't know. It doesn't seem straightforward. None of this seems straightforward. The last six years haven't seemed straightforward. It just seems like they're tossing information at us and I have no idea what's true. What's not. That's, that's the game. The game is to just throw so much out there that you are confused. I mean, in short, I don't care, but he's obviously fucking guilty. He fucked her. He lied about it. He paid her off. I, I, I don't care, though. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 34 felonies seems high for paying off a porn star. I'm just and I hate Donald Trump. Worst president of my life. That said, uh, uh, paying off a porn star for consensual sex, probably the only thing that he's ever done that I agreed with. Like, that was it. That was it. Other than that, well, I'm not a big fan the of the fuck guy. out of Soleimani. I agreed with that. The, which one? General Soleimani, I, the Iranian one, where they said that uh Wait, the, Iran did something and they, they said the way they spelled it out is they gave him five options like, oh, here's here's the little option and here's the you you don't want to do this one. And he went, yeah, fuck it. Do that one. Kill the shit out. And, the, and we fucking missile bombed. Sure. Him bit of a callback. But I'll, OK, so I'll give him two. Soleimani and the porn star thing. Those are my two favorite things that he did. Uh, no, but no, I, I, like, I would. Oh, what's go, up? Ahead. go ahead. You got a third. Give us a third. Oh, I like the prices of things. I like the amount of money. I was that had nothing taxes. to do with him. That that had nothing to do with him. That's the bullshit argument that because he he took Obama's economy, ran it into the fucking ground. He dismantled the the health care plan that George W. Jr. put in place uh, and, and caused 
COVID to run riot because the 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 stop gaps were not in place because he removed them. So you you can't say prices are inflation. That that's 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 pointing at a figurehead. That that's that's an invalid argument that people make. Oh, Trump, but things were cheaper. No, they weren't. Either way, either way, I think Trump was shocked when this when this verdict came out. I heard he stood up in the in the courtroom and was like, "You mean I could go to jail for paying off a porn star? That's bullshit." I sexually assaulted a lady in Bloomingdale's and only had to pay a fine. This is fucked up. I think, isn't it? Now, this is where I get fuzzy. It's because he lied about campaign finance laws or some bullshit where the money was, was it donor money that he? Yeah, paid, it's like, a campaign finance thing. Okay. And then Michael Cohen paid her. He paid Michael Cohen using campaign finance donations, which Jake, you and I have talked about this. If people want to give him money, fuck it. He can use it however he wants. I mean, he's been taking right. I, I don't understand the charge. Like, you were supposed to use this money to lie to the people about what you'll do as president, not lie to the people about which porn stars you fucked. Who cares? Yeah, and I would make the argument, if I was one of the people that donated to him, I'd say uh, uh, paying off porn stars who, I, again, had consensual sex with, that's a big part of campaigning because it's about my public image. That should have been the argument from the beginning. That should I'm telling you, he would not have been convicted of any of this. But Michael Cohen wouldn't. But, but that's another thing is Michael Cohen did go to jail for like two years or whatever for this exact thing. And yeah. I thought that was weird because I'm like, wait, you mean to say that Michael Cohen just paid Stormy Daniels 120 grand out of the goodness of his heart without talking to his client? His client had nothing to do. Like, no, of course it came from. Trump or whatever. Yeah. I don't know why jail time is required, but uh, yeah, it, and he was still think, claiming throughout the entire trial that he never slept with Stormy Daniels, and I couldn't figure out why, and then I, it kind of dawned on me, like, oh yeah, Cohen did go to prison for two years for this, uh, um, or whatever he ended up serving, and so he can't just be like, oh, oh yeah, I, I did that, but but who cares? There's bigger crimes being committed by presidents every day, including me, uh, but he can't cop to it because that guy went to prison. His lawyer went to prison and somehow the story was um, he just paid somebody for his client. And, and I don't know, he used his own money. Right. He used, I don't know, lottery ticket winnings. I, I don't know where the fuck they said that money came from, but either way, Cohen went down for that and Trump didn't. Well, he did now, but to uh, me, it's almost, I think people don't want him to win. So they put his, they, I mean, they've been putting as much as they can on him as, in comparison to other presidents who probably done is equally or worse things than him. And, but yet this is all just constantly shoved in the light. To me, it seems they don't want him to win. And it almost feels like, uh, like the NBA, how there's not like calls anymore. Like what's a travel, right? It only applies to the players that they want to have success. I hear that. Well, I, I, My response is, I mean, it, it, at some point it, it's, it's, uh, he kind of is the reason it's all happening is because he kind of does it all. It's like <laughs> other presidents do bullshit things, but it, I, I, I really don't. The, I, I think the Democrats are fucking up if they only get him for this and they don't get him for anything regarding Jan six, because if, if you don't yeah. actually get the guy for the whole uh, trying to basically like stage a coup, uh, trying to, you know, calling up governors and stuff like that, talking about, hey, find me ballots, that kind of shit. Yeah. If you don't if you don't get a guy uh, uh, for not peacefully transferring power uh, to the guy who beat you in, in an election, if you don't get him for that and you only get him for let's face it, this porn star thing is something that only people who are already way on the left give a fuck yeah, about nobody it. cares yeah nobody cares nobody cares and and i've even heard people on the left make the argument that like well um this is an election issue because he paid to cover up the truth and had people known about this thing with stormy daniels they never would have voted for him it's like he was on his third trophy wife what yeah. i would get that argument a little bit if this was uh former president mitt romney or john mccain or somebody this right. is a fucking sleazy dude who like i would if i donated to trump i would assume some of this is going to fucking porn stars or paying them not to say that i fucked them or something you know i mean there has never been a guy who is 
been more likely to have banged a porn star that has ever been in office than this guy. Uh, JFK, and, and, and we knew Clinton, that before Stormy Daniels. Oh, and JFK that's and that's Clinton why was. he's the man. <laughs> that's why that's why he's the fucking goat, dude. Right. I mean, he should have just copped to it right away. <laughs> what, what, was, what kid growing up is like, no, I don't want to have sex with porn stars exactly. when I'm younger. like Point dude, to Brandon. He might go to jail for for covering it's, up consensual just, sex with a porn star. He just got a fine for legit raping a lady like six months ago. So he's, he's never having consensual sex in this city him. again. From, from, if they try and put him in jail for this, that'd be the biggest fuck up thing they could do. It just seems it, it would it be seems a fuck up for wrong, sure. but it doesn't seem it, it seems a little ridiculous considering everything with like Biden laptop and paying off other countries and like shit that you find out that you don't see. More, you don't, what you is, don't see it anymore. You don't see it anywhere anymore. But but wait, this, and even, even that one. Even well, I that guess one. I'm confused because that's Hunter Biden. Uh, like what if they haven't paying off other countries? They've never. That's why Republicans haven't brought any charges because they have nothing but noise. They they keep trying to make a connection to Joe Biden, but they can't. And anything with Hunter Biden happened when Joe Biden was neither president nor vice president. It happened. Well, right. And that laptop, even if it it's came Congress. out earlier and the media wasn't trying to cover it up, I don't think people would have not voted for Joe Biden because his son's yeah. a fuck up. You know what I mean? Well, like it, it, it's the same argument I'm making with Stormy Daniels, where it's like that wouldn't have kept people from voting for Trump. And Hunter Biden's laptop wouldn't have kept people for voting against Trump. Like it's if it just, did, it would have been a super small percentage. Of, right. Yeah. yeah. Because it's like Hunter Biden's not the one on the ticket. Like it's his yeah. dad. So what do you, you know, I mean, it's, it, it's fucking ridiculous. Either side claiming that like had that information not got covered up, it would have changed the election. It absolutely would not have. I mean, people are going to vote for who they vote for not, not over small shit like that. Yeah. That's why it's still a tight race, you know, despite, you've got the two least interesting people running for president and it's a tight race what well, it, it shouldn't be by any means it's just people should just be grunge voting like fuck i can't believe i have to do this but you still have passionate people on one side and resigned people on the other <laughs> pretty much yeah no I one's mean... invested in this election at all well the the, the the hardcore maga trumpers are invested but they're they're such a small fraction of insanity that, that they're kind they're... of dwindling off a bit and i yeah. mean the people that are pro biden are more anti-trump than they are yeah pro Biden. you know you don't see people waving a biden yeah 20 like they're not putting that shit on their fucking pickup trucks or none of that nonsense i, I, I know you, you don't several, see his flags anywhere i know several people who are i didn't vote for him in 2016 um but i know several people who tell me that that really were definitely not for him that are now leaning that way just because hmm. I don't know concerns, I've, I've several people. It's kind of surprising. People that you saying they voted against Biden, but they're for him now. No, 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 no voted opposite. against Trump in 2016, but are voting mm -hmm. for. I think about it this time. Weird. I hear. I kind of hear people saying the opposite. If they were kind of you know like uh, voted for Trump, but more didn't like Biden, they're like, hey, he's just got so much fucking baggage. Oh, now I, the whole train I thought of another thing. thing. He didn't. Thing. He didn't start a war, right? He didn't start a war, but what war did Biden was, start? Yeah, that's that's true, man. He's more like uh, funding proxy wars and shit like that. He actually ha isn't putting American boots on ground. So it's like it's kind of yeah, he's no, sort of doing I mean, who do, who he's kind of half in, half out. He's talking right. about Ukraine and Israel. Right? Yeah, but Biden didn't start those. No, I'm, I'm just saying he's, he's like one of the first presidents to not start a major war. He yeah, also, I mean, he also pulled out of what Iraq or Afghanistan and gave away tons of millions of dollars of military vehicles and weapons. No, that was a Trump con. See, that's the interesting thing about confusion is Trump put all that in in progress and then said an end. It's kind of like the Trump tax cuts. Trump, uh, they they voted for tax cuts that would be permanent for the wealthy but temporary for the middle class. But it was set to expire during the next presidency. So if Trump was president, then he could roll it over and get it. But the tr the middle class tax bucks cuts expired under Biden. So then Republicans get to scream, "Oh, Biden raised taxes." He didn't. He just didn't further a tax cut. Same thing with the Afghanistan withdrawal. Trump negotiated the contract, got everything up, said we're pulling out on this date. Then he lost the election. Then Biden just didn't intercede and go, hey, we should keep troops in Afghanistan. No, he, he did intercede. He Biden pulled out like three, four months after Trump declared he was going to pull out. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. He, he, well, he, he, really, yeah. he Trump let it set it in place. So it's like it's 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 like you say, there's so much being thrown at people that they, they lose focus of who actually did what. Well, it was a weird thing where Biden had to pull out because if he had to done that, 
he would have had another claim like right now. He would have been like, well, I was going to pull out in March of, of 2021, but then Sleepy Joe got in here and he didn't do it. You know, so he, he yeah. knew he had to pull out, but he knew that pulling out of Afghanistan was going to be a shit show anytime you did it. He knew it was going to fucking yep. go a, a, anybody, you anybody the fucking band aid you know? off as hey. opposed to like slowly peeling it back. I knew that when I was there I mean, back in 2010, 2011. Right. So it yeah. doesn't matter when you do it. So he did it as far from an election year as humanly fucking possible. And politically, that was the fucking move. I mean, he did it horribly. I don't think he could have done it much worse. But I don't think Trump would have done it any better because he was talking about doing it like three months prior to that. I have to disagree purely because everything we've learned from Trump, he would never pull out. <laughs> Fair enough, man. <laughs> ben, and and you make there. sure that the poor <laughs> star was tested first. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, let's get off this shit because that's what everyone's talking about. Hey, Jake, I have a good update. Uh, Brandon, you missed this one. Last week we talked about American Airlines, uh, a stewardess, uh, a male stewardess, flight attendant. I'm going to get canceled for calling him a stewardess. Uh, anyway, he, he put a, a cell phone in a uh, bathroom and tried to take pictures or video of a nine-year-old girl. And I don't know where they dug these fucking people up, but the lawyer said, oh, no, it's the nine-year-old's fault. How dare yeah. she use it? Well, Jake, good, uh, good things happen. American Airlines fired the legal team for blaming the nine-year-old. I mean, the, the legal team literally went, they went on record and said it's her fault. Even American Airlines went, look... We hired you fuckers to try and clear us, but you went too far. So, right. Fuck, kudos to American Airlines for firing yeah. that legal team for trying to turn it on a into a nine year old girl. It's, it's a good thing they did it when they did because that legal team was also about to sue that nine year old for getting their camera dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Who looked real bad? I mean, the company quickly backpedaled, telling USA Today outside legal counsel retained with our insurance company made an error in this filing. Oh, it's an error. That yeah. That's the, that's, they have to use words like that. But Jake, we talked about that. We said that it would be a legal team that American, that through insurance, it even said in the other article that in the insurance company would do fucking anything to avoid a payout. Uh, but American Airlines is kind of like, you know what? We're going to take the hit on this one. Let's, let's, oh, oh yeah. Nine-year-old girl's family, a couple thousand it was really bad on our part. And let's get the shit bag in jail. And this is coming from an airline company. Yeah. There was recently an airline company that killed three whistleblowers and fucking said that they killed yeah. themselves yeah. by shooting themselves in the back of the head three well, times. Boring, them, right? Right? That wasn't an airline company. That was an airline manufacturer. Yeah. Big difference. That's airline just, companies. Airline companies just just take massive bailouts from the government, then lay off employees and give bonuses to executives. That's what they do airline manufacturers they have whistleblowers killed See, that's the right difference that's right the you airline know, companies just discredit nine-year-olds in court it just seems like they i bet you they i mean they only fired them once they got pushback you know i bet you they're like oh this is the route that we take so we could not give money and then as soon as it was out in the public they're like oh no you're fired we, you know what i mean they probably were behind it and they didn't care. oh they would have gladly had that nine-year-old boeing in the back of the head yeah. if uh <laughs> And and made it look like a suicide if they if they were able to get away with that shit. If it would have worked out in their favor, they would have been like, "You're goddamn right, it was the nine year old's fault. She knew she was being filmed." I agree with Brandon one hundred percent. Had that not hit the news, American would just be like, "Oh, well, that's that's an interesting tactic. Um, let's just see how it plays out." I do not think anybody would have gotten fired had that not made the news. Like, but how do, how does it not? I mean, that is too good a story. All the I mean, nobody's going to bury that or say it's not interesting or all the family had to do is like, um, did you see this legal filing? And boom, it, it's going to blow up like it did. So, but yeah, Brandon's right. It, they, they would not have fired him if it had not been for PR, because that's all it is, is optics. It's it's yeah. money and optics. If the optics aren't there, they'll just go wherever the money is. But once the optics turn bad, yeah, they say there's no such thing as bad press. There is. I, I'd like to see what the hell kind of other cases that legal team was taken before this, because <laughs> the thing is, you don't just start with, oh, yeah, I'm representing American Airlines in a huge class action lawsuit. Um, I just graduated from uh, I, I just took the bar yesterday like that. That's not how that happens. Yeah. You're a company that is established. You're a firm that's been in there for decades. So. There's got to be other crazy arguments that they have made. All I mean, oh, the fucking levees broke themselves. It had nothing to do with hurricanes. God damn it. <laughs> All right. I have a sick, disgusting question to ask both of you because it's in the article. Um, obviously, this this piece of shit, 
took pictures of this girl in the bathroom, and that's creepy and wrong and disgusting. And if there was a hell, he's going to rot in it. He also took pictures of her while she was sleeping on the plane. Here's the question. And I, I, which is creepier? I mean, they're both fucking creepy and wrong. One is perverted and disgusting and sexually wrong. They're both, but it's like he's taking pictures of this little girl sleeping. There's, there's fucking inherently something creepy and bad about that too. This is a disturbed, this is why I'm pro death penalty. I don't, I, I don't know why we need a trial for this guy. It is like, just take him out and back and shoot him like old yeller. Just, hey, b- b- I'm pro death penalty for a guy like this, but it's got to be optional. I think is you tell him you go look, you're either going to you're going to uh, Gen Pop in yeah. whatever prison you're in, uh, and they're going to tell them that, that you, you, you got to wear a sign that says what you did. Yeah, they're going to know that you're in there for for filming nine year olds in the uh, in the airport, John, or hot shot right now. You know, I think that's the move. I think that's the best way to do the death penalty is, you know, get around this appeal thing. Because I'll tell you right up, all the all the hardcore anti death penalty people talk about how inhumane it is. I'm like, I think, let's say, 20 plus years in prison worse than the death penalty. I would fucking take the death penalty before that. So I say make it optional. You know, however, if I got sentenced to over 20 years in prison, but I didn't do it, I'd be like. No, I don't want the hot shot. I'm going to wait for more evidence to come out. I'm not the fucking hillside strangler. That's a di- I No, I only strangled one or two people, and it was over there in the valley. I'm a different strangler. It's, I'm not that guy. We've we've talked about this. Brandon, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Dead Man Walking with Sean Penn and Susan Sarandon, have you? It sounds familiar. I can't think I, of this plan. I can't remember if it won Oscars. I know it was nominated. I don't know if I saw it or not. I'm going to give you I think a spoiler I did, a alert. Time ago. I'm going to tell you what happens. Sean Penn is a fucking thug criminal piece of shit. And he gets uh, put in jail, put on death penalty for, I forget, killing a girl. I forget who, maybe a guy, killing someone. And so the entire movie is him telling Susan Sarandon, a nun, I know I'm a bad person. I I did all these crimes. I robbed all these stores. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a drug. But I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her. I didn't didn't kill that person. Gets all the way to the end of the movie. And he's like, on his deathbed he's he's gonna be put to death and he's like okay i have to get it off my soul i did kill her i did it's like well what the fuck is the point of the movie you know it's like well good right. fucking kill like most of the movie you want him dead because he's a piece of shit but you're like okay he didn't kill a person but he's, he, we're getting rid of a piece of shit oh and he is guilty I, I i don't know if i was supposed to feel sympathetic i don't know where i was going with this other than i agree with you jake I, yes give him a decision you know you, you oh that's i i had a thought that's where i was gonna go is uh, the anti-death penalty people talk about, oh, inhumane suffering. They're the ones that got rid of the knockout drug. They're the ones that said, hey, you used to have this peaceful way of putting someone to sleep, and then they just wouldn't wake up. Now they've got to try these new cocktails where people go into seizures and swallow their own tongue. Maybe give them back the sleeping pill drug that, that allows them to fall asleep and just they don't wake up. Or give them fentanyl. How fucking hard is that? You know what I mean? <laughs> or a bullet to the head. Our country is filled with nothing but but assault rifles and fentanyl. But for some reason, the only time the state actually wants to kill someone, that's when we fuck it up. It's like, no, 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 no. Just use one of those two things. Either get the fentanyl or get the rifles. Like one of those, either one of those is going to be a way quicker and better way than going, I don't know, can we do Drano and uh, and uh, arsenic? Will that will that take him out? Will that, will that put a guy down? Pull up Google Translate on my phone. Donde están el fentanyl? Get, let's get Mexico on the line. They have they they they're good with fentanyl. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Yeah, I, all I the confiscated we, uh, fentanyl. We just give it to the death penalty states. That's the move. I think we reform prisons, and then we have two different kinds of prisons, and one's for anybody who's not a murderer, rapist, or pedophile, so that they get like actual help and go like like yeah. different resources. Sure. It's sure. not as like prison like, and then you send anybody who's one of those to that and then they deal with those creeps the murderers deal with those creeps because then they're they usually don't make it long anyways especially if they're in really bad prison so no or they or they go into solid they usually go into solitary yeah they go into solitary or their cellmate takes them all again no brandon that's a fucking great idea i the the idea that we have this we have white collar crime in federal prison where they you know they they, uh, uh fucking danny masterson i read danny masterson from that 70s show is in for rape but I read a, a piece on him last week. It said, oh, he gets up, he plays pickleball, then he plays Xbox. You know, they, they, they kept him away from the hardcores. Like, he's a rapist. I, I you know, 
but the idea of separate prisons, okay. Oh, you're in for a petty theft. Great. Oh, you did a drive by shooting. You're over here. Oh, you're You're like, why do that? I've never even thought of that. Brandon's a great fucking yeah. idea. Why? But do we I don't have think Danny Masterson be based off of the severity of the crime that you do. Yeah. Do, because there's people I think who can be rehabilitated. But yeah. When you put them all in those people. I mean, the negativity usually trumps the positivity in an environment like that. So then everyone's going to have to do the things they have to do to survive, which is often like hurt people and stuff just to get by, which lengthens their sentence. Then they don't ever get a chance to actually become somebody in society that that can contribute. I well, like it, Brandon but I will say on this. I will say I think Danny Masterson should get to go to that easier prison that you talked about with the Xbox and all that, because <laughs> I read Aston Kutcher's note to the judge and I was moved by it. And when he's not raping people, he's a fun hang. So I, I don't think that, well, statistically <laughs> most of his life was spent not raping. So I mean, you know what I mean? You're just gonna let he only raped like what one percent of the time he was on the planet. Like what are we gonna? Yeah. Well, we're just gonna throw a guy in in into the rapey jail for that? Come on now. They just go on. Like, on. It was the seventies. It was a different time. Yeah, he was method <laughs> acting. It was that seventies show. He acted yeah. like it was in the seventies. Wasn't just Ashen Mila. Uh, whoever played red and I think the mom, there were lots of notes in his favor. <laughs> there you go. It's there funny go. how only Ashton and Mia got the uh, fucking shit on for it. Like, I think I read somewhere that five people wrote, no wrote notes or more. Uh, and, and Ashton and <laughs> Mia are the two that really fucking took the hit. Well, I definitely get it with Ashton. Okay. It was, it was like, for yeah, one yeah, thing, I think he, Mia's, he, Mia's he, probably yeah, the biggest one celebrity wise right now, next to, next to Ashton. Right. But but he ran the argue that 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 organization for rape victims, and so it's kind of weird if you run the um uh we don't like rape organization, and then you 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 write a letter on behalf of a rapist trying to get him less years in jail. Like it's just a weird thing. It's a yeah. weird. It's a tough thing to do. It would be like somebody in PETA advocating for Michael Vick to get less years in jail. You know what I'm saying? Like you get kicked out of PETA after that. I feel we've reached the limit of the amount of times we can say that word. <laughs> Peter? No. Yeah, we're going to get dinged by the algorithm. <laughs> All right. Michael Vick. Uh, Jake and yeah. I have nothing for or against Elon Musk. I will say this. I saw my first Tesla Cybertruck in the wild last week. Holy shit. Those things are uglier than the pictures suggest. Agreed. They're just fucking dumb looking. But they look like Elon's military defense. Vehicles. I have this article, an opinion piece by Michelle Lewis with 400 comments. I just swapped a Tesla Model 3 for a Model Y and Elon Musk's brutal layoffs ruined the experience. It's an entire article about how she wanted to get a new Tesla and how they're ill prepared for it, how he's he's laid too many people. It goes on and on and about how difficult it. Hey, here's an idea. Don't get a fucking Tesla. This is on you idiot customer you write this long piece i'm walking away i'm like hey i want to buy your i actively want to give you money for your product oh you're making it a pain in the ass oh look there are other car companies there, there's hey you know what uh they all make evs they just don't have the cool tesla logo uh the prius doesn't look like a piece of shit anymore it doesn't look like they put a stick of butter in a wind tunnel the prius is new and improved you, you can buy a hybrid i this whole article and they have she actually has quotes in here, uh, uh, actual from, from the walk the fuck away. Uh, what's whatever your name, Michelle Lewis? You don't you didn't have to buy a Tesla. You wrote this entire piece. You put yourself through this. I I'm victim blaming. I'm victim blaming her for this. If this isn't like an encapsulation of what America is right now, people who are still in the delusional like rich thing of like I can't get the thing that I want while everyone is just struggling around, uh -huh. you know. Yeah, well, good, yeah good I point. mean, like, yeah, I'm fired, dude. Like, how you don't think I? Uh -huh. People wish they could have a job, you know? Yeah, I, I kind of get sticking with Tesla, thinking the truck was going to be good, man, because I, I actually rode in, um, some kind of uh, Tesla crossover thing for the first time. It, it, like, I just got an Uber, and and it was this Tesla. It was fucking nice, dude. Oh, I think the cars so, are. I just said the yeah. truck is ugly, and you don't need to fucking put yourself through the. It's, I, I like what Brandon said, the idea that it's this, uh, oh, I'm so turned off by the fact that I, I, I couldn't get the, the, the show piece. The, it's obviously for fucking image. She's only buying it for image. I, you, there are plenty of fucking other automakers. 
it, why write this whole hit piece on Elon? She, she just wanted to pay, pile on Elon. This whole piece is about how Elon does everything wrong. He's laying off too many people. Okay, if it's bad customer service. Talking about uh, the the 1.30 a.m. We were in Massachusetts when the Vegas service rep called me uh, after my response to my pleas for help. The approval had gone through at 1.30 a.m. And they said, yeah, they're having to work really long uh, uh, hours to keep up. They're overwhelmed. Okay, just fucking go somewhere else. You can literally go to any other. You can go to a car lot and drive off that day. You don't have to go through the yeah. process of ordering a fucking car. There's there's too many electric vehicles out there to be putting out trash like this. I mean, you got you to gotta fucking be on point with it now, you know? She's clearly never had $12 in her bank account and had to eat in a Taco Bell because you order shit, but you're not going to get what you order, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah, has nothing I to mean, do with anything, but Brandon just reminded me of it. Have you ever seen the shit about uh, um, McDonald's charging eighteen dollars for a Big Mac meal? Yeah, yeah. I had a friend. Where where at? Like at an airport? They couldn't or replicate it. I've had two friends try and do it on apps, and what I and they the most with all these upgrades, the most they could get it to is thirteen dollars, and that's with like the basic Big Mac meal was. Eight, I think, and they kept up. And I have to wonder if this one special one, like if they're trying to add DoorDash into the deal, is like, oh, my Big Mac meal cost me eighteen dollars because it was this, and there's a DoorDash charge, and it's like, I, I, they couldn't replicate it. They could not. It could be at an airport or something, dude. Airport shit gets expensive. My understanding was they tested it in certain areas, like, like, uh, and then it got so much pushback immediately that they just pulled it. That's that was my understanding from it. Fast food has gotten like expensive, man. Like, like to the yeah. point that you know, I, I get that like inflation happens over time, but like that inflation tends to be like, a, oh, everything's getting more expensive. Right. Uh, a fast food has gone up so fucking much. It, uh, the only the only way it even makes sense anymore is if you're just going off like the extra value menu or whatever. Because it's like if you're a fast food place and you're charging me basically what i could get a a a sandwich at like a nice little bar and grill or whatever that's what if they're saying like is that it's a the couple same price. bucks more i could be getting stuff that's not mcdonald's like i could be getting like you know fresh ingredients and stuff like that um there's there's no way man i don't know why anyone's doing the fast food then other than like the convenience of driving through the drive through like if you if you're on the road or something i kind of get it but um you, you know even then i'm still just going for the like i i just want one or two just dollar sandwiches or whatever, you know? Well, and we shouldn't be eating fast food anyway. It's complete garbage. So, all right, we're running out of time. I want to hit another story. Uh, this one, holy fuck balls. Fontana pays nearly 900000 for psychological torture inflicted by police to get false confession. In my 40 years of suing the police, I have never... I like that. That's, that's this attorney's job. He he takes he lawsuits against the police. Well, this one's fucking deserved. I've never seen that level of deliberate cruelty. This guy, Thomas Perez Jr., calls the police to report his father missing. And then 17 hours later, 17 hours of interrogation later, he confesses to murdering his father, except, oh, wait, his dad is alive uh, and at an airport going to visit someone. I mean, holy fuck. This guy walks in. Hey, my dad's missing. You killed him, didn't you? And they beat my guy. This is like a fucking. Yeah. This is, this is like an episode of what is that? A uh, Black Mirror or like you. Th- right. You would not believe this was real if it wasn't real. It's fucking insane. The dad gets home and, and the son's like, Dad, you're not going to believe this. I'm in prison right now for killing you he's like you think that's bad i just paid 18 dollars for a big mac at the fucking airport oh my god <laughs> dude i mean those guys should be in prison that's why they're suing us so they can buy happy meals yeah what do you think of this though i mean my god they, they 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 brought in a fake so he has a dog they 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 say oh the the dog what i can't I remember what they said about it, but they brought in a fake dog and said hey we're gonna lock you up your dog needs to be put down do you want to say goodbye to it they bring in a dog that's not his and he's lying on the floor crying wow. with the dog and, and just my god it is, Dude, this is that's crazy and Here, why did they all, why did they think that his dad was dead I don't know, but I just had a thought. I did not think of this before. Why can't we get these cops to the Guantanamo Bay uh, fucking uh, uh, the, the the 9-11 guys that we still have there and get them to confess to everything? Apparently, they could do it. I mean, they're on it. 
These, these guys, these yeah, cops that's could true. Make, these cops could made that could make that nine year old girl confess that she put the camera in there at, yeah. at, for the stewardess, Hell, the, the male should, stewardess. Yeah. They whatever should run called. for president. They clearly get things done when they want to. I mean, my fucking god, they do get shit done. <laughs> this is the, yeah. To... They should have gone into sales and not policing. This is that's <laughs> the fucking problem, man. They should be they should be selling eighteen dollar big man. These guys could definitely talk that kid into paying eighteen dollars for uh, uh, two shitty meat buns and Thousand Island dressing. You know, they they could have done that if they could convince him to confess to killing his dad, who's just at the airport. They could definitely oversell that kid on a on a on a big mac That's imagine what I imagine going home from work and your wife's like how was your day honey it's like oh you know i found a dog that matched a dude's dog and then i made him admit to murder because i told him i was going to kill his dog if he yeah. how do you explain <laughs> that to your wife when you get home? Like, <laughs> i'll tell you dear these new <laughs> these new murder quotas they got on me i mean <laughs> jesus christ i got everybody i pull over even for a practice a parking ticket i gotta convince them they killed some hitchhiker from milwaukee yeah, i got trump to admit that he <laughs> banged a hooker you, know? you <laughs> thought that the quotas they had on speeding tickets were bad well now that they want to get murder convictions up yeah all right let's wrap it up we didn't get to the other things i bumped this for two weeks i just I, I want to read the headline. Just go. Texas power prices briefly soar sixteen hundred percent, one thousand six hundred percent. Again, God bless Texas for always saying, "Oh, we're independent." The national power grid. Yeah, when it gets too cold, your power goes out. When it gets too hot, it goes out, and and you charge this much. Uh, yeah, I, it just makes me laugh. Oh shit, we got a comment. We got to get to. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, there we go. Uh. You're Y O U R instead of Y O U R apostrophe R E. You're the same cunts, Nathan. You parrot the disinformation you believe while vilifying those that don't fall for the crap you do. That's what makes you a fake liber. That's what makes your oh the wrong one. That's what makes you or the- you got wrong there. The fake libertarian. Jake, have we ever once said we're libertarians on this on this podcast? No, but I'm about to. I am for the power surge in Texas. Uh, that's how little I want government is it, sticking their fucking nose in anything. They Sometimes the power goes up by 1,600%. It's the will of Christ. It is. Well, I I, I, I don't know what we said. To, we're, we, have we Have we ever denied being cunts? Jake, you and I, have we ever said? No, you know, don't we've anything. never we're, once we're said we're libertarians. Everyone else is. I like that he's calling us fake libertarians when we've never claimed to be that. Or and never like I just said, we've never claimed we're not cunts. So Brandon's not a cunt. He's our nice guest, but Jake and I were cunts, and we'll own up to it. All right. Jake can be found on social media at Jake Vevra, the 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 sign. I can be found at NathanTimmel.com. I have a one hour special on YouTube. You can get that through my website. Brandon, where can everybody find you? Yeah, TikTok or Instagram on uh, at Brandon Wine Comedy. That's Brandon, B R A N D O N underscore W E I N underscore comedy. Um, YouTube, Brandon Wine. And then also, I run a production show around Southeast Wisconsin. It's called uh, Business Casual Comedy. So you can follow that on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, we produce, produce shows all around Southeast Wisconsin. All right. So, Thanks for being on with us. Thanks yeah, for being on, man. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you. Trump filmed himself in the bathroom at the jail and we're convicted for him for that too. <laughs>